رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. We begin as always praising the Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to shower His mercy upon our last messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. On behalf of Central Islamic Association Madrasa Committee, the principal, the teachers, and the students, I welcome you all to this uh, gathering of Jalsa of today. Uh, the program will go like this, that the first uh, opening of this gathering will be a kira'a from Hifiz class, and it will be rendered by Tawahir Sulman. But before we start, let me make mention to say that bear with the students and so bear with us the, the, uh, the teachers because as we were preparing for this jalsa, we had some problems and most problems was that some of the students were not coming to prepare for the jalsa. This made us uh, uneasy for us to prepare well. So it made us also to borrow or to take other students from other classes to fill those gaps of those students which uh, they were not coming. And mind you that what you are going to see here as Jansa is not what we teachers were teaching the whole year. Because sometimes the performance which we see here, if you are not going to like it, you are going to raise all the work that the students and the teachers have been doing for the whole entire year. No, this we've been only preparing from the last time when we finished our exams, and which is two weeks by now. And as we say, some students were not coming, but some were coming. So whatever you see here, please try to congratulate us. Whatever mistakes we are going to make, they are going to make, bear with us. Uh, the problem is we are going to start with that Kiraa and we are going to start uh, with the grade hours up to grade 6. And after that, uh, there will be a principal's message. I'll call up a principal to talk after the Jansa for 10 minutes at least. And after that, the food will be served. The Appas has prepared food, drinks, so that will be, and they are asking to say that inshallah all who are gathered here can partake from that. Then after that, then we will, uh, uh, before the principal talks, we will then give the awards. So these awards will be the first prize and second prize. And the overall achiever, or you can call it a best student in the class. We, having, we were having a problem in choosing in our classes because all of our students are stars but we had to choose one so when you see that we are saying that we have an overall achiever in terms of coming to madrasa in terms of the manners in the class in terms of his work or her work that he has been doing from the beginning of the year up to the end of the year but for us all teachers or our students are our stars so without further ado, I call upon Tawahi Suleiman, who is from the English class, to render his kira'a. Tawahi Suleiman.
MashaAllah, that was Qadi Tahir Suleiman was reciting from the Surah uh, Yusuf. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in the Quran regarding the Surah Yusuf, Ahsan al Qasas, the best of the stories from the Quran, where Yusuf, despite his uh, his brothers being jealous of him because of his father who used to like him a lot and the brothers were not happy with this they thought they plotted to throw him into the well but when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to raise a, a person even though he must be in the darkness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will will come only when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes to that person so we had seen that eventually Yusuf even though he was in the darkness of the world, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised him to become a Nabi and to become a uh, base of all the people. So that was the body, uh, Suleiman from the Kira, uh, from the Hifiz class. Now I call upon Raisa from grade R to say her Nazam in Arabic. Raisa.
uh, talking about Ibrahim bin Adham. When you look at this story, it tells us to say that after being a king, one day he decided to leave, to abandon his kingship. And then uh, because of that sacrifice of living of the life that he was living, which is a good life, he became then a wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He became a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At least also we can take a leaf from the story to say that if we want to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we need also to, 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 to make a sacrifice. We cannot come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without making a sacrifice. And that is when you wake up for salah, when you do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you to do, even though you are living in the luxury. Ibrahim bin Adham left his luxurious life and then he became a saint and the wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, next on the agenda is the grade, the threes. I call upon one of the youngest students in class three who is going to render his Quran. He is going to read the Quran, looking into the Quran, because they just came from Gedwa or Gedwa 2, where only they knew only the words, and when they come in the, in the grade three, they are when they are starting to read the Quran. So I call upon one of the youngest in my class, the three, Zainka, to read from the Holy Quran. For the other Thank <laughs> you. 
Mashallah, uh, that was Zain Tara, one of the students from the threes, uh, reading the Quran. We were looking at how he reads the Tajweed aspect of you, and you look at the Mahrat, where the letters are coming from. So you will appreciate his reading. So inshallah, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should make him stronger and stronger as, as he goes to the higher grades, inshallah. Uh, next, I call upon a play by the girls from the three, and this is uh, this is about the family of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The family of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The narrator, please. There's no narrator. They 
gave the child different types of medicine and visited various doctors. Believe 
that whatever happens is happening with the wish of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing can change that. Some of you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you 20 years, some of us 30 years, some of us 100 years. When your time comes, you are going to die. Even though whatever daughters you might have, but because it was the taqdeer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before you were born, to say that you are going to live for a specific number of years and nothing can change that. That's why we have seen that even though the stone was removed from that child and he felt much better for only two days, but eventually he died. That was his career. And some of them, if the days were not over, then he could have lived for another more years for them. So that was about that day. Next agenda, I call upon Great Force to do the Arabic conversation. Arabic conversation against Great Force. For the Republic of the So that was to show that they were all talking about 
ordering, having the menu, what they're going to discuss, what they are going to eat in the restaurant. So the parents of uh, the students, I hope they're all going in Arabic countries, inshallah. Next is uh, uh, next is Muzammil. Uh, he is doing a speech in Islam in Spain. For the other father, let's go. Assalamu alaikum. When you think about Spain, what comes to mind is beautiful gardens, palaces, saffron, soccer, and maybe even trails. As a Muslim, when I think of Spain, I think of Andalus, Cordoba, Muslim culture, heritage, and great universities. Have you heard about the Rock of Gibraltar? Today, I will tell you about the legend behind the name, Tariq bin Ziyar. In the late 7th century, Spain was the most western region of the Roman Catholic world. The Viscontents ruled Spain and made life miserable for all their subjects. Taxes were very high and people were treated worse than slaves. Help was sold from across the road from Morocco. Under the Umayyad rule, Musa bin Nasir, the governor of this region, approached Tariq bin Ziyar with an army of 7,000 Berbers. He led his army into Europe. On April 28, 711, he left Morocco in the evening and reached Spain the next morning. They performed Fajr the Salah and laid a seed on a mountain, where he delivered the following famous speech to his soldiers. O Muslims, to where can you flee with the sea behind you and your enemy in front? Your courage and patience can only help you. With those words, the martyr of conquest was renamed Jabal al tariq today known as Gibraltar. The mountain of Tariq. Tariq then continued his conquest, Cordoba, Toledo, and within a decade, Spain was under Muslim control. The legacy of Muslim Spain under Tariq bin Ziyad saw 800 years of peaceful Muslim presence and centuries of Muslim inventions and discoveries. Jazakum. <coughs> Jazakallah, uh, Muzalim, for reminding us that uh, Spain was once uh, ruled by Muslims for 800 years, even though now we know that it's not, no longer uh, ruled by them and by the Muslims, but Alhamdulillah, uh, and I know that that's the wish of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the second item on the agenda is the play by the Great Fires. The play by the Great Fires. Yes, the Baba. The Baba. Would there be no suffering, no pain? 
I can't believe it, I've got a couple of months all of these things. The kind stopped for a moment, thinking that he didn't meant to respond as, so as to prevent an argument. The barber finished his job, and the client went out of the shop. $100? Just after he left the barber shop, he saw a man in the street with long hair and a beard. It seemed that it had been a long time since he had his hair cut, and he looked so untidy. Then the client again entered the barber shop, and he said to the barber, You know what? Barbers don't exist. How come they don't exist when I am here and I am a barber? If barbers did exist, there would be people on the road that look so untidy with long hair and long beards. Ah, uh, barbers don't exist. What happens is that people do not come to us. So God does exist. People just don't come to him. That's why there's so much pain and trouble in the world. Mm. MashaAllah, those were the fights reminding us about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One lesson that we need to learn from this story is that we Muslims, we must always be ready to be asked a question. And we must have the knowledge to be able to answer those who are going to ask some questions. And the least we can do is to learn, is to read. Or one of the least we can do, as always the, the chefs are saying, that we can even go to Mr. Google just to know about our day. Because we seen that this person came into the barber shop without expecting that he is going to be asked such questions. So if we do not have the knowledge of our own day, if we do not know how who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what are we going to say? We are going to be defeated. Therefore, this is a plea to me, myself, to the mothers and the fathers to say that please let us have at least a knowledge of our deen that when everyone asks us about our deen we must be able to answer them to say I know who is my Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does this and why this happening you must be able to give these answers because sometimes you go in the places where if they know that you are a Muslim they know what kind of dressing are you dressing you know in the restaurant when you are asking about halal they ask you what is halal and what you know, what I know, if it's only halal and haram, what are you going to say? So we need to have knowledge, the students, the, uh, the, the mothers and the fathers, even the teachers also, to have the knowledge of our day, so that when these questions are asked, we are going to be able to answer them. The, the next item on the agenda is uh, the fight about the atheists. Again, the same question about the atheists. Sir, ask your questions and I'll answer them. 
people, please help us go to disappear. He's a youngster and he's heading for disaster. By this time, many people had gathered to find out what the commotion was all about. When they learned that the youngster had stood up to challenge this man, they asked him, Son, are you sure you will challenge this man? Inshallah, with Allah's help. The atheist realized if he didn't, people would think he's afraid and just making excuses. So he asked the first question. Okay then, tell us what your Allah is doing right now. Sir, the response to this question has an equal right to the question. You stand at the pulpit and people can see you. But what about me? I too would like to be seen. Can you come down and I go up? Sir, come away. The atheist came down and the youngster said it. He replied. This is what, sir, this is what Allah he did. He made an atheist a his position so that a man like me could occupy it. Hearing this answer, the crowd applauded the youngster. All this to the embarrassment of the atheist, of the face of the atheist. He asked the second question. What was before Allah? Sir, count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Sir, why did you stop? Continue. What comes before one? Nothing. There was another round of applause and the embarrassment could be clearly seen on the atheist's face. Then he asked his final question. Okay boy, in which direction does your Allah face? The boy left the lamp, he asked. Oh, in which direction does this lamp face? In all directions. Exactly. Allah too is light. He shines in all directions. The atheist was left speechless. Some people booed him while others were so jubilant that they lifted the answer and carried him away. He surely became a hero. Guess who was this youngster? He was Abu Hanifa radiallahu anhu and was to become one of the celebrated Imams of the Ahlus Sunnah Wal Jamaah. He was a genius from young. MashaAllah, again the same question of knowledge that this youngster was able to answer uh, this atheist who asked these three questions because he had the knowledge. Without having the knowledge of his deen in Allah, he could not have answered it. So again, there again another plea, same one, is that we should always make sure that we learn more and more and we read more and more. Uh, another item on the agenda is a kira'a by a grade 5 girl, Sadia Jodhiat. Sadia, for the other four questions, go on. Thank you. 
That was Sadia Juliet from grade 5, and she was reciting some verses from the Quran, and this is Surah Yasin. Uh, the Prophet of Nabi Sallallahu uh, Alaihi the Prophet of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said that Yasin is the heart of the Quran. So know it, memorize it, and read it more often. There are lots and lots of benefits of the Surah Yasin, having Surah uh, Al-Fatiha, to be Umm Al-Quran, the mother of the Quran. Yasin, the heart of the Quran, and Fatiha, the Umm or the mother of the Quran. Next item on the agenda is about Old Nazam, uh, rendered by Hinda. Old Nazam, rendered by Hinda.
Mashallah. Uh, to be honest, what I heard is La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. So, because that was all, I don't speak Lord and I don't know about all. So, but what we can take from there, that uh, uh, La ilaha illallah, this is the belief of a Muslim, a Muslim and a Muslim, to testify, to say that there is none worth of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his final messenger. Uh, after that we have a poem uh, titled Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam rendered by Fernas. Because of the hardship uh, which the kuffar and the believers were rendering on him, so he thought he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him permission to leave to go and join the other Sahaba and the companions who had already left uh, Mecca to go and settle in the Medina. Wherein the first thing that he did was to build a masjid, which is called today Masjid and Nabawi. Uh, next is a song by Mahir, uh, rendered by Alia Motala and uh, Raisa Korodia. Raisa Korodia.
Okay, mashallah. Uh, now I call upon uh, grade 6 to do their play. Grade 6 and grade 5. Come, come, time, 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 please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The grade 5 and 6 school will be doing a play on Haram and respect. A group of friends head off to a New Year's Eve party. Before they left, their mothers warned them not to get up to any mischief, not to eat the meat, and not to drink the alcohol, not to hang out with boys and not to get out of hand. Now, don't eat the meat, eat the vegetarian meal. Don't get out of hand, stay away from the boys, don't drink any wine or any alcoholic drink. I will be calling every half an hour to be checking on you. Is that final? Yes, yes Mom, you know you don't have to tell us this because you do know we're not going to do any around. And plus, we innocent, we never talk to boys, we never eat around. And we never drink alcohol, so there's really no need for you to give me a lecture. And plus, there's going to be a noise, there's going to be a lot of noise anyway, so there's, there's no point of calling us. <laughs> and I won't even hear my phone ring. <laughs> if I do, it sounds like I'm going to hear you. And you won't hear me. Mom, I said, I think you've said this lecture about a million times. <laughs> Listen, well, my child, you are Muslim kids and I expect you to be Are you hanging out with 
with any boys? Yes, we are. These boys are talent. Did you finish any wine or any alcoholic drink? Yep, chef, bars, amarula, we did it in our delicious. As we are going for the holiness, 
Uh, we should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then. Uh, next on the agenda, and this is going to be the last, and then we'll do the price giving. After the price giving, uh, the chairman of Central uh, Islamic Association, uh, Dr. Ishmael Mita, will have a short message, and then after that, the principal will come for his vote of thanks. For now, I call upon Zahra Ali to do her nazam on my mother. Faleta Fadal Mashkura Zahra.
Each one of them are going to get a prize, but these three are going to get special prize for being first in the class. Obada Ntia. He is going to get a first uh, for having for being a first in the class. And second, a special prize, Muhammad Diano for being second in the class. And based overall, based on his performance, based on uh, coming to the uh, to the to, to the to the madrasa, based on uh, good manners and characters, goes to Musa Chimenya. So these three are going to get special prizes, but all of them they are going to get excellent. Yes, can you please go there? Why don't come this side? Obada and Musa. Yeah. Now you guys, you go take them. Your presents are there. Good ones, can you please keep quiet? Uh, in the two, there is a tie in first place, uh, first place, so first position. So we only giving those two, uh, and this is Bino Diano and Zaid Mutala, first position, a tie. Zaid Mutala and Zabayro Yalo. Yeah, first position, both of them. Okay. Uh, Muhammad Mutala, best of our students in the two. And all... Uh, Muhammad Lita, I like one of the Muhammad Lita, yes. All the get two please can you come forward and go receive your prize with your All the get two Going to grade, going to grade three, first position, first position Raisa Jadwat, and second position Zain Kara. Overall, best student, Zia Dali. Can all the students of the three come forward? Okay. 
All the students in grade five, uh, grade four, can you come forward? Grade four. In grade five. In grade five. Can you sit down? Please sit down with uh, the ones and the twos. In grade five, the first position goes to Muhammad Mutala. First position, grade five, Muhammad Mutala. Mutala. Second position in grade five, Sadia Jodiat. Second position and best overall, Suhail Ali. Suhail Ali. And the rest of the force, can you please come forward? Oh, the five, yes. The rest of the five. Okay. In the six now, first prize goes to Shamira Kassim. First prize, Shamira Kassim. And second prize, Alia Mutala. Alia Mutala, second prize. Best overall, in the six, Fernas Darmia. And all the six, can you please come forward for your prize? The six. For if it's class, we finish Madrasa 1, 2, 3, 6. First class, I am Ibrahim. First position. Okay. Um, uh, student. <laughs> we finish class, first position, Fahim Suleiman. Tuahir Suleiman, first position. And base of our home, Tuahir Muhammad, but he's not here. The rest of his class, can you please come forward? The rest of his class, can you come forward for, for your prize? These are the English class. These are the rest of the English class. Can you please stand up? They want to see you. Can you please stand up? Stand up. Including me, I'm one of the English class. And Arif also. So there's me, Arif, and these students. But the first prize goes to Tayyip Sulaiman. Now we have best attendance. In this uh, category, we only chose those students who have been absent only from 1 to 10. Believe me, we have 71, 80 students who are absent on the, on the whole year. Now these are the prizes which we are giving to those who are absent at least one day the whole year or up to 10. From 11, we're not giving. So, uh, Muhammad uh, Diallo, the one. Muhammad Diallo. Grade one for best attendance. Best attendance. In grade one again, Obada Ntia. Best attendance. In grade one again, Obada. Jobiat. 
Best attendance. Professional. In case one again, Musa Chibenya. Best attendance. Musa Chibenya, best attendance. In case two, Muhammad Bita. Muhammad Bita in case two. In case two, Zaid Mutala. Zaid Mutala. In the three best attenders, Iman Sidda. Iman Sidda. Rafia Muhammad in the three. And Sulaimana Akoji in the three. In grade five, in grade five, Farhia Shuaib, best attendance. Farhia Shuaib. In grade three, at grade five again, Sanya Jokia, best attendance. And this prize goes to a lady who is waiting tirelessly, making sure that our environment is clean, our wuhana, the toilet and everything. And this goes to Anna. This goes to Anna. Can you someone pass it to Anna? No, sir. So this year is so for the teachers, the teacher will get in price. All right. Best attendance, there's no best attendance in grade 6. Because we said it's 10, 1 up to 10. So if you came 11, 12, then there's no best attendance. I call upon Dr. Ishmael Mita, the chairman of Central Islamic Association, with his short message. Ishmael, the photo of the story. نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم عما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We thank the Almighty Allah and we offer salutation and salam on our beloved Nabi Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. اللهم لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله. We can never thank our Creator enough for having blessed us with the gift of life. Allah <coughs> Brothers and sisters, I'd like to say thank you firstly to the students um, for attending Madresa, for diligently, diligently coming through um, to Madresa, being tired from the extracurricular activities at school um, and making yourselves available to be taught and being part of the knowledge of me. I would also like to extend a great uh, thank you to the parents for obviously the tireless effort that you've put into your children's dini education. Uh, a message to the kids. I hope I've got your attention. You know, the thing is you can uh, enjoy the gifts that have been given to you, the prizes. But the greatest prize when really it comes uh, upon acquiring me is gentle fitness. So what we ask, what are we here for? We all striving to be taught the good models of Islam as well as to achieve general fitness. So that is the greatest prize that we are all striving for. We are indeed blessed to be in an environment where deen is being disseminated to our children and we thank Allah for that. Um, I'd also like to thank the teachers who have 
put in an immense uh, time and efforts and sacrifice to impart on the Dini knowledge to our children. Zaka that to you, Sheikh Shaheed, Sheikh Taman, the Abbas, as well as to our principal of the Sahib. Zaka that to you all. Um, we are in the process of establishing a few uh, or improving the madrasa. And uh, you know, we had a, a workshop a few weeks ago engaged with the teachers and one of the, um, the things that came out of those workshops was the fact that what we needed to do quite urgently would be to establish a parent-teacher association. And I'm urging the parents who have the time and who are keen to get involved in the madrasa to please contact our vice chairman, Ray Mali, in the Sikha. Um, to the kids, enjoy your holidays. You put in a lot of hard work. Enjoy your gifts. Read your salah. Muhammad Mita. The Motadas, I said, I don't know whether there's a conspiracy here, but the Motadas and the Mitas are seen to take all the gifts. Um, I see a gentleman, in, uh, or one of our lifelong students, maybe we should give him the Lifetime Achievement Award to send the Islamic Association, it's a high price. The Central Islamic Association really looks forward to the day you graduate with the Hamzul Quran. Inshallah. Uh, without much further ado, I'd like to call upon the principal of the Reza, Hafez Farid, please come and say a few words. Jazakallah. Uh, before the principal comes, uh, the principal is reminding me that there is uh, an award for grade 6, that is for attendance, which was in the packet there, and which we could see, and this was for grade 6, for Naz Darmia. And then you come and collect your price later. After the vote of thanks from the principal, we are urging the children to come to that field where each one of you have, you are going to have your party packs. And you are asking, uh, we are asking also the parents that the uppers and the other parents, they have organized food and samosas and portraits. So they are asking you that you go this side and have them. And for the men, we can go this side and have uh, that food. At this point, I call upon the principal of Central Islamic Association uh, with his board of thanks. I know it's not for It's been a long day. The food is ready. I'll try to be as quick as possible. Although the message is the last one, there are some very few pertinent points that we have to share with you. First and foremost, a personal thank you to one and all for attending our Jalsa and making it the success that it is. To the parents that have made the great sacrifice to educate your children, to the teachers whose effort have been exceptional in part of daily knowledge, and to everyone and everyone who has assisted in any way. From our side, it is just a, the most we can do is a vote of thanks. But we make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the best in this world in the cover of the And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise your stages high in general. Truly, we live in very challenging times, sometimes more challenging than we can imagine. This madrasa is no exception. But it is these challenges that aid us in shaping our future, a better future, a future that we dream of. One of peace, stability, justice, freedom, and the list goes on. But in our case, dreams definitely come true. This madrasa is more than a dream. It is living proof a successful dream. Amidst being enveloped by the darkness of Kufa, 
Our children have become beacons of noor and special light when they attend the madaris. It is here that these little kids attract the rahmat of Allah, the malaika descend and fall up to the heavens and say amin to the dwarfs. And it is here that as parents we can acknowledge and understand the beauty of this deed and beauty what Allah has given us. That when you hear, when you have a child, and your child echoes the first words of mom or dad or ma or dada or pa, whatever it may be, what joy goes through our heart. In the same case, when our children are brought and what, what innocently they are able to say, Allah, they are able to say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, they are able to take the greatest words on earth, they are able to echo the message of the most beloved of Allah, of the most of the person that truly in our hearts and our minds we truly wish to be like him in every way. Once these children imagine what joy they bring to the heavens, what joy they bring to, the, to all the other creations, and how pleased is Allah that these children have now with the challenges that they face, they are able to recite the name of Allah. And truly for us it may seem like a norm, but there are hundreds and thousands of communities out there that don't have this facility. And today in the world, this Madari system has been growing. The challenge we have in evaluating what we have and maintaining that system, truly again, may Allah bless every person, every parent, every teacher, every member, every person that is associated with team, with this masjid, with this madrasa, in every other way. A quick overview of our Madaris for the past, in the year 2012, that Alhamdulillah, our learners have been spread over many languages, cultures and habits, bringing us the global melting point. With different ages, we find we have adults and we have young kids, but this is the beauty of Iman in Islam. We have just completed our examinations and Alhamdulillah, some classes have average 80% plus, and the general norm is between 70, 80, 90%, Alhamdulillah. As a madrasa, we engage during the year in many extra activities. We have had an excursion towards the Turkish Masjid. We had Sunnah picnic, we had a sports day, amongst many others. But these activities from our madrasa system are our first around the, in the area for many other madaris. In the general, madrasa does have its challenges. Obviously, we need to improve on our absenteeism and late coming, time allocation and giving our children at home a time that they can relate to the team. For the year 2013, like, our, like the Amir has said, there will be few challenges, there will be few changes. We have now introduced from next year, Arabic will be a subject on a Friday, which will be done every week. As our annual Nizam Jalsa and our excursion also, we, this year was our pilot project, so inshallah next year we will carry on with it. And we urge one and all that we have at least three to four sessions of parents' meetings. We want you to come and share your ideas, share your input, so we can make it a better tomorrow for our children. Madrasa closes today, fortunately or unfortunately, and will reopen on the 14th of January. In the few months, Abba Amina, our great art teacher, had to go on maternity leave. A replacement, Abba Fatima Jogi, had come in. We thank her for her time for the effort that she has put in, and we hope a success in every other adventure that she takes after here. We welcome back Abba Amina. Also, our Saturday class, we have a Saturday class from 9 to 11 on Saturday mornings, and our youth class is there open daily under the tutelage of Karis Ahmad Sayyid. Also, it may not be the appropriate time, but the fact is a reality. We're still sitting with a lot of outstanding fees. If parents could please, forward to any of the bank board members, etc. Otherwise, we may not get our bonus. <laughs> and once and again, uh, the madrasa is open to communication, any suggestions, complaints, any information that you have. Feel free to come to the madrasa, come to let us relate on any issues, etc. On behalf of the, on, once again, and we apologize to any parent or any student or any person that we have offended during the year. It was no intention of doing it, but if that was the case, we ask sincere, we ask, we apologize, and we ask you for forgiveness to the children, 
We thank you for being there, for making our year. For the parents, we thank you for bringing the children that bring our joy every day. And for to my teachers, truly, only Allah can reward you for your effort as it's been seen in the heavens and the earth. Once again, a final shukran to all that have made it, to our meal, to the Madrasa committee, to our parents, to the teachers and the kids. I thank you personally again for making this a wonderful year and I hope your, your wonder and your joy carry on with us tomorrow. Do not forget that we shall break now, inshallah. Uh, there is refreshments being served. The men on my left hand side, the ladies on my right hand side. All the children are requested to go to the field. Uh, their party have been there for them. Asu Salah will be next today, uh, five, 15 minutes. Asu Adan, uh, normally it's at corner past, uh, it will be at half past. And 22 will be Jama. And for the reports, for the reports, please can uh, all the students go to their various classes where they're going to get their report, inshallah, and hear their positions from one up to the last position.